Hello guys and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we are going to be taking a probably pretty painful and death-filled walk through I Wanna Be The Guy Gaiden. Now this is a game I've mean... well, not this game, but this series I've been meaning to cover for quite a while uh, since it's one of the few that I haven't touched on uh, that has a character that's unlockable within Super Meat Boy. So it's time now, <clears throat> since the new one came out, to, uh, you know, get my lumps, so to speak, and see what we can do with it. I've seen a few people taking a, a shot at it, and I, I think I'll probably be able to at least make a fair shot at the first level, I don't know. <laughs> but I guess we'll have to see. So, uh, here we go. I want to be the guy guide in. Message. Curse mode to be activated Sunday, July 22nd. From, uh, okay. It's, uh... Patch notes, I guess. Alright, so I didn't actually do anything yet in this, I just made the save to see about testing it, so, uh, yeah. That is a bridge from Contra, and that fish tried to kill me, and it didn't succeed, but the water did. So if you've never played uh, the original I Wanna Be The Guy, the, the basic thing about it is it's a, uh, a mashup of all kinds of Nintendo and like retro games uh, put together into one insanely punishing platformer uh, that just goes in really bizarre directions and I think this is very similar. Uh, okay, I need to actually get past to the first level. Um. <laughs> Thank goodness you can, uh, oh right, you can skip the dying thing if you want. That's good. Press fire to play. Let's do that. Alright. What was that, like six, seven deaths? And we're just about to start the actual game. So we're gonna do some epic commando style parachuting in. Some nice Mario clouds in the background. And, oh! I knew about that too. It's funny how quickly you'll forget. I'll start jumping right while I'm off the screen. <laughs> uh, I don't really need to be jumping this whole time, but it's just so I don't forget to do it when the parachute disappears at the end. I don't think jumping actually makes any difference right here. Cool. Alright, let's not walk under this girder in a way that will get me smushed. Let's uh, press up to save, that sounds good. And I should have a- oh! I didn't know fire came out of that. Cool. I should have like a grappling hook or something? Okay, sorry about the interruption, I just remapped uh, my button so I could have C available for use. Alright, so uh... The I wanna be the guy guy, his thing is he can double jump. Oh, that killed me. Okay. So I gotta make some good use out of my double jumping skills, and also my shooting skills. There's a fish in here, which I don't think I can shoot, no. You gotta go- oh, that one falls too, huh? I guess they all do that. Alright, what I can do though, I should be able to maybe grapple. And get above everything, and then there's gonna be a guy over here that will appear. He's no big deal though. The problem is there's going to be another guy up here by this barrel, or set of barrels, rather. And I gotta do something with that. Uh, the hook mechanic is really kind of weird. I don't quite understand how to deal with it, actually. I, I can only... oh. Okay, if I just press it normally, then it swings. If I uh, hold up, then he goes up. That kind of makes sense. I'm hoping to, uh, set this guy off, and wow. Huh. That was lucky. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, what can I do about this guy? Can I jump up while he's down, maybe? Yeah. Hey, there's a save point up here. I think that's new, because every video I've seen, there has not been a save point there. Alright, so we got to do some pretty sweet grappling to get on that hook. 
Uh, could also be that I'm playing on medium that that save point is there. That's actually probably more likely. Oh, And there's another one across the way, too. So where's the first I want... Ah, I want to be the guy who was more of a uh, Metroidvania, like, open-world exploration-y type of game. This one is stage-based, like Super Mario World, as I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, that was pretty lame. So that will lend itself to more bite-sized play action. Why can't I grab onto that? I thought that's how I'm supposed to do this. I'm very glad that there's a save point there. Am I just supposed to jump over the whole thing? See, I don't get another jump when I do that. The grapple counts as... or I guess the first jump counts as my first jump. Okay. That's, let's start. Now, how can I parlay this into not dying? Is there such a thing? Yes, there is. Shoot him! There is such a thing as not dying. Amazing. I've never seen anyone get this far yet. <laughs> so yeah, uh, usually Indie Impressions is mostly about, you know, a pretty serious critique of a game that is usually pretty serious, and in this case, uh, I can't think of a game that's much further from being serious than I want to be the guy. How the hell am I supposed to get over that? Just say screw it and go, I guess. Uh, well, that wasn't how, but maybe that's my technique anyway. Just keep throwing myself at it until I eventually get it. <laughs> the grapple arm came out of my dead body. Oh wow, you can grab these things and pull them back to you. Like that. Awesome. <laughs> the rope is swinging with no one on it. Man, I am so happy you don't have to wait every single time. Ugh, fucking blooper. If I had to listen to the music play every single time I died, that would just really not help this. Man, they come right back, so there's like not even a reason to bother shooting at them. Ah! Screw you, buddy. That guy's gonna kill me. And that platform disappears. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, this game's so easy. I didn't even attempt to go that time. Wow, where did those parachuter guy com guys come from? I totally could have made it over that. I just didn't jump again. I wonder if there's any reason to, like, no. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to take this, like, as strategically as I can, but there's not a lot of strategy to this. It's like, you can't really time any of this. Just to hope you get lucky and get through it, I guess. I mean, we've... oh, god damn it. Wow, I can't believe I'm still alive. <laughs> Not that it mattered. What the hell just happened there? Man, I'm gonna have this entire video of me on this first level. And I'm gonna feel pretty pathetic. And probably most of it'll be this jump. I mean, I've died this many times in Super Meat Boy levels, but not usually this quickly. <laughs> as soon as you release it, if you grab one of those, it's gonna kill you regardless, so there's not much you can really do about it. There's gotta be a better way. This just seems so impractical. Can you go under it and shoot up, maybe? I don't have time to do that. Oh, 
That's really weird how uh, lucky you have to get to get through that. Oh man, we got barrels now. Save point! Alright, I've got a goal. What am I gonna do about all of this? What's this guy gonna do? Is there gonna be a, a fish that shoots out of this? Oh shit. Dude in the window. Something is gonna be waiting for me, I know it. Beautiful music, by the way. I'm sure you could probably tell, but it's really nice. Alright, I gotta swing, maybe? No. I gotta do this. Oh, I can't go up through the bottom, huh? I'm surprised there's not another trap, actually. I just gotta get lucky and be able to swing up from this. Yes! Save point. You know, I kind of feel bad that everybody's playing this on YouTube now, and then here I go doing it as well, but, you know, I also kind of don't care. I mean, it's not- whoa, holy crap. It's not like, uh, people can lay claim to indie games or anything, they're, they're for everyone to play. Alright, something terrible is gonna happen if I try to go through this, so I'm probably not gonna be able to. I'm betting I need to go out this way. I can't imagine that I'm gonna be able to run through that whole corridor without the next one getting me. No. Oh, well I can jump up through this girder, so maybe I actually can do this. Oh, and then there's spikes. Okay, well I figured that. At least I have a checkpoint. I can make it half- right, spikes there too. I can make it halfway up before that barrel gets there. Oh, wow, okay. Different death animation, that's nice. So, uh, place your bets now. Will I make it through the first level of this game? in the amount of time that I usually record these episodes. <laughs> we are at 12 minutes and 45 seconds presently. And I'm not sure how long these levels are. I could be quite far away from being done. Or I could be very close. That could be the end right there. So there's spikes and barrels. It's pretty rough. Oh shit. Okay, so I gotta remember where they are too. Okay, two more, and then a break. No! Alright, I'm better off dying anyway. I should probably be making better use of my grappling hook somehow. Not like that. Oh, just kill me, fine. I feel like the, uh... I wanna be the guy guy was, uh, more of a brunette than a redhead in the first going. Maybe it's just my monitor, but he looks definitely like a, a bit gingery. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just an observation. I think I have to go this way, maybe. I feel like that would be a better option. I would really prefer going that way. It's not gonna let me, though. Yeah, because you can't jump after certain instances. Just gotta stop pussyfooting around so much. I wish I could get another checkpoint right before that. I don't know, this game feels a lot more fair than the first one, in my estimation. I might be wrong, but I had uh, a lot more trouble with the original. Oh, god damn it! I was there. If I got through those spikes, that was it. I was safe. Alright, I got this this time. We're gonna figure it out. That thing is just a joke. There's not even, like, a challenge to that. You just gotta not stand there the whole time. Okay, maybe not that time. Maybe, maybe next time. Sometimes when I start the level, I don't have the ability to double jump right off the bat. I knew that was there, and I just said it was a joke, yet it still killed me, because the jump just doesn't work half the time. Okay, it's 
fine. I'm not upset. Most people, they rage when they play this game. I kind of see where they're coming from, but I don't think I need to rage. I just need to win. What? Lame. What does getting upset really accomplish anyway? If this is how much trouble I have with this, like, I can't imagine trying to beat the first game on hard or something. It's just like an exercise in frustration, I don't even see the point. Like, at least with Super Meat Boy, the controls were, like, so spot on, it felt great to just control the game. And this one, the controls are a little bit stiff. I mean, they're not bad, you can play it just fine, but it's like, they're not perfect, and there's no sense of, like, perfect momentum like you had in Meat Boy. So, I don't know, it's like, it was a pleasure just to play around in Meat Boy, in this one it feels sort of more like a chore. But I, I, not, I definitely understand that a lot of people come from different angles on that, and I think I just walked on a barrel. Did you notice that? That's what it seemed like. I, I don't know that I can stand on these things, but maybe I should try. Now I, yeah, okay, so I can actually land on top of the barrels, I just can't get crushed by them, apparently. Oh, come on! Seventeen minutes, am I gonna make it? Alright, spikes. Come- oh, okay. Well, I was waiting for the spikes, freaking barrel. <laughs> you gotta, like, trigger them at the right moment, or it's pointless, and now the spikes and the barrel are offset, so I can't do anything about it. Thanks. Is that supposed to be the save capsule from Mega Man X, or the one from Super Metroid? Probably the one from Mega Man X, I think that's the one that gives you the special powers, like Hadouken and shit. Yeah, you would think I would know what the Metroid ones look like by now, right? Okay. Well, you know, it's always a good option when you're having trouble with a game like this, is just to rush. Usually, nothing bad happens when you rush. So maybe that's what I should be doing more of. Although it's just against my nature, it's it's contrary to the way I work to be able to rush. Although, I've been playing a lot of Spelunky on the 360 lately, and uh... Man, that game makes me want to pull my hair out even more than this does. Uh, because half the time you get killed by stuff that just makes no sense, like, that you have no bearing on being able to control. Like, in this, you can tell there's spikes going up and down, you can tell there's barrels coming, there's like a pattern to it. But Spelunky, you might start up, and the entire room is dark, uh, there's, like, nowhere that you can see to go. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> like, you're just screwed in every possible direction. Alright. I've made it up out of this frickin' hole. Now I just need to jump these barrels. Hopefully nothing will kill me. That would have been the perfect spot, like, if that platform that I just jumped over lit me on fire or something. I can't... I can't kill Donkey Kong. The bullets are bouncing off in every direction. How the hell do I kill him, then? What can I do to him? Well, what's even the goal here? Okay. Am I supposed to, like, go through that door somehow? Confused. Maybe there's somewhere to go over here? Nope. Maybe I can grapple one of these barrels? Yep. 
Uh, what do I do now? Do I have him grab me or something? No. Maybe I can launch that thing at him somehow. I'll figure this out. We're almost... We're maybe gonna finish this level, I hope. Oh my god, I died a hundred times. Oh, okay, I can throw it again. Is he gonna do it more? Oh, he's gonna shoot multiple barrels now. That's... That's a boss fight, I guess. It's one way to do it anyway. Alright, I'm not gonna jump up on that platform this time, I should be okay. Yep. What's he gonna do the third time? There's always three. Oh, he's gonna throw them really fast. Three it is. Can I save again? I don't trust this door. <laughs> this game's made me too paranoid. Somebody's gonna reach their hand out and, like, slap me to death. No, I beat it. I beat a level in this freaking game. I just proved that I am better at this than a lot of people on YouTube who couldn't beat this level on medium. Oh, I feel pathetic, but at the same time empowered. Alright, we're 21 minutes in. I don't want to really play the next level. I'll start it just to see what it looks like. Oh, it looks like some Mega Man type stuff. Yeah, big surprise, of course. What else was gonna happen? Man, that thing very aggressively smashed me. Okay, I think the game has had enough. It's breaking its frame rate now. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, this was a kind of frustrating but kind of fun game, I guess. Um, not a huge fan of it, but, you know, it's different stuff for different people. If you like masochistic type games like this, uh, which you would think I would since I love Meat Boy so much, but I don't know, something about it. I love the references. It's very well done. The graphics are great. The controls are pretty decent. The music is wonderful. So I find some cool stuff about it, but I can't say that it's my favorite thing regardless. But if you like it, go ahead and download it. Uh, this is only a beta, so they're still adding more stuff to it, and I will put the download link in the description as always, so feel free to go grab it and give it a shot, and now that you've seen how to get through it, maybe I'll at least get through the first level a little easier than I did. Um, so, thank you for watching. Remember to head on over to facebook.com slash indie impressions where I post every single night's video, and you can uh, go meet some other fans, talk with yourselves, talk with me, leave comments, pass the videos on, whatever you want to do. And I also have Twitter, at RockleySmile, and at IndieImpression, and you can feel free to send me any game requests that you may have. And yes, I am willing to do extremely hard and annoying games. <laughs> now you know. Alright, thank you very much guys for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow with another episode. Have a lovely night.